It's been eight years and I'm finally building myself a new computer. I built my last computer in 2015, but it's time for an upgrade. Building a computer is not that hard, but you do have to put in the research beforehand to decide what parts you wanna buy and make sure they're all compatible. To help with that, I recommend using a site like PC Part Picker to help you make sure everything's compatible and is gonna work together. They can also help you find discounts on the parts. I need a powerful computer to keep up with my video editing, so these are the parts I decided to get. And this is the order that I chose the parts in based on importance. It was finally time to start building the computer. For the case, I got the NZXT H7 Elite. I started the build with the CPU's liquid cooler. The computer processor I got generates quite a bit of heat, so I decided to go with a three fan radiator to help keep the CPU cool. After installing the fans, I installed the unit into the top of the computer. I got this motherboard partially because it's what was available, but also because it had enough ports and capabilities for what I needed to do. Once I set it in place, I just had a couple screws to install to hold it secure. Since the CPU is so important for video editing, I decided to go with Intel's flagship CPU so I run into as few speed bumps as possible. The important thing to note when installing the CPU is to line up the arrow on the CPU with the arrow on the motherboard. There are 1700 pins under there, so it's important to make sure they get lined up correctly. Next, I installed the storage. I decided to go with two 2 terabyte. NVMe solid state drives. Unlike older hard drives, these install directly onto the motherboard, which makes them faster. Next, I installed the water pump onto the CPU, and because it already has thermal paste, I didn't have to add any extra. This pump and the radiator are what keep the CPU from getting too hot, so it's really important to make sure there's a good connection. Next, I installed the four sticks of Corsair DDR5 RAM. The large amount of RAM will help with program speeds. After that, I installed the graphics card. I'm hoping this graphics card will help speed up my video editing process. And the last component to install was the power supply and its cables. I started by connecting the motherboard, then the computer processor, then the graphics card. The power supply distributes the electricity to each of the computer's components. Once I got all the cables connected to the power supply, I screwed it into place. And the last part of assembling the computer was cable management. Luckily, this case is built really well to help manage cables. And now, the final touches. All that's left is to get Windows and my programs installed. After installing Windows 11, I ran some tests on Cinebench to see how the computer was doing. I tested my old computer against my new computer, and my new computer is about nine times faster on the multi-core test. This boost in performance should make video editing way better. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.